It's Wednesday, October 8th. Welcome to the latest show on Earth. Good evening, ladies. Gonna get right to the news, because we got a lot of news for you today. First in the news is uh, heavy metal eating super worms are unearthed in London. Super so. worms. Do you like heavy metal too, though? I right? love heavy metal. Yeah, I like all that stuff. We'll just skip. Whoa. I'll spare you. And uh, super worms. They, that sounds like it should be a show. That these, was it was the second. But these, from the top. these worms okay. literally do consume heavy metal. They eat zinc, arsenic, copper. Like, and, they, and then people are scientists are thinking of using them to, uh, you know, clean up landfills and clean like, up landfills and toxic wastelands. And also Hannah Montana children's toys, which have high, high, well, you know, talking about things that have lots of lead in them. And the Hannah Montana bracelets are are said to have 27% lead, which is 445 times the legal limit. And the little clasp has a thousand times the legal limit of lead for children's toys. But, you know, I mean, she's hardly a, a, a little child anymore. It's, she's now dating a 21-year-old. They're, they're adult old. toys, too. You know, I have a Hannah Montana bracelet and, you know. Just the risks you have to take for those high fashion items. You, you can know? invest in heavy metal, like eating super worms, though, to keep your children safe. Hannah Montana and won't even be wearing it. She's not yeah. a child anymore. She's, she's a 21 year boyfriend. What? Justin Gaston. And yeah. there, there they are playing with uh, mm -hmm. Hannah's father and the new boyfriend. And it doesn't tear his achy breaky heart at all. He's ha more than happy to have her 21 year old boyfriend out on stage <laughs> with them playing guitar. He's like. <laughs> It's like a model underwear. Yeah, speaking of 16-year-olds with boyfriends, Jamie Lynn Spears was uh, rumored to be pregnant again, but I don't think... I think those rumors going, have been dispelled, you know, I don't just even... Just keep on popping them out. Yeah, I mean, why, why, why stop now, you know? But uh, in Casey Aldridge also did an interview with some magazine. OK and, uh, Magazine, I believe it was. Yeah, and he dispels all the, you know, rumors and pictures of... I never cheated. That was just like this chick that I boned. Yeah, and speaking of on the topic of relationships, Kendra Wilkinson has uh, yes, also she's also called left that side with of Hugh Hefner. He's all alone now. Well, not you know, really. So here's Kendra playing foot with her. She's also dating a football player now. Is uh, yes. Hank, Hank Basket. Basket or Basket, Basket or Basket? I don't know. Philadelphia Eagles yeah, football here's his, player. Here's you might... his card if you don't know who he is. Yeah, that's his card. So, <laughs> so hope, I wish them all the best of luck and happiness in yeah. the future. Would, Although Hef has don't someone, feel too bad for Hef. Yeah, don't feel yeah. so bad for Hef. He's got two new replacements. Nineteen-year-old twins, Christina and Carissa Shannon. With, who are, I guess, hot, and I mean, if you lose two girls at once, you could just replace them with two of the Nothing same Nothing inappropriate girl. about that, you yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> they're 19-year-old twins, yeah. and Hugh Hefner, I mean, no, I, nothing I, out of I the still, ordinary there. you know, envy Hef, yeah. but, but, you know, eventually maybe those girls will be free from, <laughs> from the in encampment at the Playboy Mansion, and they'll be just regular Americans, unlike just the like prisoners that John McCain, that John McCain said in his Pennsylvania speech. A while ago, he referred to he said my fellow prisoners instead of my fellow Americans. I don't know. It's basically, kind of funny. Basically, he fucked up, and it's it's funny. He my called fellow us prisoners. prisoners. Is that a sign of things to come? Is and when you're really at a Republican convention slip, thing like that, it? it's, you're almost like a prisoner. And you know what? They're pirating music too. The Republicans they stole the Foo Fighters song. They didn't have I, permission to use they that. Didn't? No, if the Foo Fighters released a statement that they were upset, and this is not the first time it's happened. I think Hart was pissed that they used the Barracuda song at the Republican National Convention. So, you know, Republicans really need to start, you know, getting permission for these music rights before they get in some trouble. Come on, and, uh, John McCain. Do you, you in other news, Haley Joe Osmond is uh, starring as a Hitler youth. Or maybe not starring, I don't know. Well, he's going to be in this new movie, what's it called? The Truth and Treason is the name of the movie. Here's some of those Hitler youths right there. Yeah. And you know, it's, there's so much potential, so many young Hollywood starlets that could potentially be in this Hitler youth it's, movie. It's, it's just, uh, apparently I based on a true story. I can't wait to see what it's like. You know, moving on, Travis Barker uh, expresses that he's happy to be yeah, alive. Speaking which of some is, people you know, who not, survived, you know. The people who survived. It yeah, wasn't Travis quite Barker. World War II, but mm -hmm. it was a plane crash with DJ AM was there. Uh, you know, and then at least he didn't lose an arm, but even if he lost an arm, yeah. there was a recent, the, the first full arm transplant double, in the world. A double, it's a double arm arms. transplant. This guy Think right about here. the potential there. If, if this guy can get two completely new arms, uh, supposedly six years ago he was in some kind of accident, then they had to amputate both of his arms, so now he's got two arms, two new arms that work. 
I didn't think that that's, yeah. that was possible. It kind of leaves you wondering. Like, maybe what, one what day I can of, get extra arms. What kind of accident would leave a dairy farmer maybe. like to have both arms amputated? You oh, know? it's a dangerous job being I dairy farmer. I suppose I didn't realize I how, how many ailments there could be to the job. In other news, Japanese scientists have been awarded the Nobel Prize for... Um, Work or what is it? Research for developing, discovering developing, and developing glowing proteins. These glowing proteins that help you know scientists like track different movement and of tissues and different yeah. you know development. They can also be tissues. used to like track cancer and other ailments in the body. So it's good good could, stuff. Japanese scientists could also be used out. you know to just to make tripped out colors in people's skin. So maybe one day we'll see blue people or pink people or whatever and or just crazy colors inside yeah. like rainbow inside you. Yeah. Like, anyway, like all these pretty colors like these, in the yeah. space photos from this week that yes, we found from online. The, uh, so that's that's pretty. It almost looks like those colorful <coughs> glowing proteins. And then there's mercury. It's a, a new shot of mercury. It's, and it's kind of crazy to think that there are these crazy huge, you know, just orbs, orbs, but not huge in comparison in to Earth or in the comparison to the universe. Not, it's just it's it's tripped out altogether. We're moving on into in other. Speaking of huge orbs, you know. Of Lindsay Lohan's huge, huge orbs. orbs. <laughs> I didn't realize they were that big. I didn't. I can't believe. Where, where the hell was I? I they guess appear. Might be like that angle. I don't. I don't know. So you heard it here first. You know, if you're a lesbian, your boobs will grow to enormous size. It's really too bad that she's so. a lesbian. I suppose that she can. Uh, you know, still hang out with uh, Samantha hey, Robinson on know, the beach and still look hot. Those you know, boobs are ginormous. Anyway, there's also uh, a her new charity. Her father is in the news. Her father is in the news. Charity where Michael Lohan He's has put himself up on put himself uh, auction. for an auction boxing match. Said, you know, pay five thousand dollars and you get the chance to knock out Michael Lohan. Originally, it was supposed to be against K Fed, but there was no funding for that. And, and I, then, I mean, I would like to personally see a boxing match between what, what K Fed and it? Michael boxing Lohan. Boxing at I mean, LI. I'll, well, if you want to bet, li bet fight, on this, li it's, fight for charity it's boxing dot com. at li fight for charity dot com. So you know, send them an email. You know, maybe you if can. You've bet, if you've got five thousand dollars, if you want to knock out Michael Lohan and have five thousand dollars to spare, you're you're maybe in the money. Maybe Lindsay you know, wants to. Pay $5, she, maybe $5, she'll $5. be there. I don't know if she'll be cheering you on. Anyway, maybe that wraps Sam up Ronson. the news. We're gonna go right to our Dina next segment. Dina Lohan should probably shell out that cash for that. Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> 